Good morning internet and welcome back to my channel. It is a new start to the week. I feel so like odd because I used to be so into everything at work and I was like I knew this and this and now I just feel really out of sorts. I'm not quite sure what's going on. We have a really big release happening today. So if you guys don't know I work in IT so we do releases um, and I am usually the one who leads the releases because that's the sort of work that I do and because I'm coming back this one was all set up prior to me starting so it's kind of being just run by other people and I'm just kind of tagging along and it's so weird <laughs> to not really have my head around things um but yeah so um slowly catching up it's fine and uh, okay sorry just got sent a link on how the deployment's going today, which is actually really useful. Uh, yeah. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna try vlogging little bits of the week um, because this week is Bub's birthday, this weekend actually. So I wanna vlog all my preparation. I wanna show you guys the decoration I got. We're not having an official party. We're just having like different family members and friends come over and then we'll go to my parents' house at the end of the week. So, um, it's just, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm excited and sad and just all the emotions. Uh, so yeah, it's officially the evening. Um, and today, as I think I mentioned in the previous shot, it was my first official day back. Um, it was full on. I did get a little bit of time, like a little break to like have lunch and see bubs, but oh my goodness, everything's just full on all over again. Um, yeah, it's just my calendar when I started this morning was pretty easy. I was telling Toby, I'm like, oh, my afternoons are pretty free. Like, like I still have to do work, but like, I think I could just take my time, just chill. No, <laughs> my calendar is fully booked out now. I have no breaks. I think I can hopefully still take lunch and I am going to ask for a little bit of time off to take Bubs to one of his classes but no it is fully booked so I think it's just kind of made me more resolved or like determined on the fact that the days that I don't work I'm really not going to work because it's like the days that I have to work it's just so um, jam-packed with stuff and it's when I say jam-packed I mean it's just a back-to-back -back meetings and then I actually still need to do my own work, so I'm going to have to do that in the evenings, which sucks because I was intending to use that time for my own stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. So I'm, I'm, that is just the nature of the job, so I would do it. But, yeah, the days that I don't work, I really want to switch off as much as I can. Anyways, I'm about to wrap up and um, just have a bit more little few bits and pieces left. And that should be good. So I've been a really bad vlogger. It's been a few days. It's been a few of really full on days. So I feel like I just haven't really had a chance to like vlog anything. Um, work is essentially over for me for the week. It's Thursday, so I've done my three days. And it is, I work three days right now. I, I like already feel like I'm away from Bob's way too much, which I'm clearly an emotional person. But I know that my job is going to require me to eventually go up to four days. That's just kind of the nature of my career. Um, and that sort of just kills me a little bit inside that I will have to eventually spend even less time with bubs. Um, I'm hoping that that won't be for quite a while so I can kind of adjust to the idea and just see whether I can cope with three days. I think working three days does require me to work quite a lot of like time in the evenings, which for now I'm actually okay with. I still sometimes sit here, I'm like, should I just quit and just like be a stay-at-home mom? But I know that I'm going to regret that because I like my career, I like the work I do. It, I just wanna be with my son at the same time. I'm like, how can I do this? You, you can't, you can't. Like, it's just, you can't have this career and then spend all your time caring for your son. Like, there's gotta be some sort of compromise. And right now, thank goodness Tobias is on his paternity leave so he's able to take the lion's share of it um, for a while but once that runs out then we have to look at other options and I know that like this is I hope this is not a controversial topic because it feels controversial but daycare is like 
often always raised up and I have nothing against daycare in fact honestly I was like all for it when I was pregnant and before that and I've always been really pro daycare I went to daycare full-time after I turned six months old um, so I and I loved the person who um, raised me a daycare like I would threaten to run away from home to spend time with her, so I really loved her. Um, so I think it's really good if you can find a good place. Um, it's not that at all, it's just that I just would rather be the one to look after my son. I just enjoy that so much more. Um, but yeah, the alternative at least is that my parents have been so amazing. Um, Bubs loves them so much, which is just the best. So I think they're gonna help look after him whilst we are trying to figure out work um once both of tobias and i are working um and maybe we'll do like partial daycare i don't know anyways i always told myself i didn't want to spend all my time chatting about motherhood and children and stuff like that um especially when i announced my pregnancy on this channel and i feel like every vlog has been about motherhood and I realize now it, it is hard because it's all consuming of your life, especially in the early stages, I think. And so all you can really think about is motherhood and childcare because that's what it's reflection of where my mental energy and time is going into. But I'm hoping that as Bob's gets older, the, the topic probably will shift more to me and my life and things I want to do. But I think there's always going to be an element of family in my vlogs because that's just my life um so yeah i'm feeling kind of not the best right now um i'm really hoping that it will improve and i'm intending to try my best to keep vlogging so i can kind of document that progress but i really hope that well actually i hope you guys know that if you are watching my vlog channel then you are in for a lot of repetitive whinging and <laughs> rambliness that's just me I just am a repetitive person in my personal life so yeah my future videos are probably all going to be around that but I am like going to make a concerted effort to try to avoid doing repeating myself too much because I, I also don't want to be like focusing on the negative all the time by the way how's this setup it's, I know I'm like pick the weirdest setups everywhere around my house <laughs> um, but this is like this is the light from the hydro garden that I showed you in the last video um, I'll show you guys the progress probably at the end of this vlog so I'm gonna wrap this vlog in probably three or four days and so this is growing so much so I want to show you what it looks like at the end of this video and um, it's so exciting but I'm just glad that work is closed out for now I don't have to worry about it um, it's future Selena's problem to kind of work out how I'm gonna manage it I mean at the end of the day four days is still way better than five days and I know and I'm like like pretty confident work will support four days permanently going forward I hope I'm not sure but like I just get the feeling because I see people working that amount so it is what it is um, anyways let's move forward um, by the way not to get all vain but I feel like my makeup's really good in this video and it's because I've found a new way to do my makeup um, because I don't have all the time anymore to do my makeup. I, how did I used to spend like a legit half an hour, sometimes a full blown hour to get ready to go out. Like sometimes a full blown hour because I wanted to look super glam for like going out with Violet and Jimmy or like a dinner or something like that. Like a full hour. I did this in about five minutes um, because I had to and you just kind of find a way but um, I might I don't know if I can do it in this vlog or the next one I'm not sure but I do want to like film a get ready with me in the morning um, so you guys can see <laughs> it's not super impressive to be honest but I do just love how quick it is and I think I probably would just like shoot myself without too much talking or maybe lots of talking who knows um, but yeah it's like lasting throughout the day it looks it still looks well from the viewfinder still looks pretty fresh um, probably most of the makeup around my nose has been rubbed off but other than that it's like really good so if I do say so myself I'm really happy with how I'm doing my makeup recently I'm enjoying makeup again because I hadn't for quite a long time because when you're at home and your like sleep patterns are all like weird it's <laughs> you just don't really feel like doing makeup but now that there's been a bit more stability for the last few months regarding sleeping so I'm enjoying looking like an adult or some sort of representation of a semi put together human um, um, 
what did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, so this weekend is so exciting. It's Bubs at 1. I can't believe it. Um, so I want to show you guys um, some of the decoration and stuff that we've bought. Um, I know he's just one, so he's not going to understand what's going on. I fully get that. Um, but I think this is just really more for the memories. Oh man, I just realized I have to order a birthday card and I don't think it's going to get here in time. Oh, that sucks. Okay, that's fine. I'm, like, Toby and I are thinking we want to start this tradition where we like write a birthday card every single year for Bubs. But on the front of the birthday card will be a picture of the three of us. And then every year we'll like put a new picture of the three of us so that hopefully when he's like 18 or 20, we'll have like a collection of um, all of us <laughs> getting old. Like, yes, he'll be like getting stronger and bigger and much more handsome while his parents are like <laughs> headed downhill. But I just think what would I have liked from my parents if they were to go back and do something and I think I would love that especially like as I get older as my parents get older just having those sort of pictures and memories where the three of us would be together would have been so nice um see the three of us it sounds weird I'm, I'm not like an only child or anything I do have a sibling but um I'm just thinking about like me with my parents that sort of relationship um yeah, so I, I'm going to show you guys, I think I'll show you guys in a cup, in, in, an, in a little bit, because I, um, right now I'm thinking about the cakes that I'm going to be baking. I'm going to bake two cakes. One is going to be, like, I want to do a smash cake, which is, like, I know, a bit, I don't know, silly. I don't know, it's fun. <coughs> Violet and Jimmy are going to come over for that. Okay, got to Google this. The stick machines, and I'll probably vlog some more tomorrow where we're going to go shopping for some cake ingredients. Good morning internet, it is Saturday and we are in the car, me and Bubs, Bubs behind the camera, and we are, Sorry? Tobias is just donating no, we did, we did the, the formula, yeah, so we're donating the formula and I really wanted to see if we could buy a printer today, oh my god, I have like a whole thing going on with my printers right now, um, but yeah, I might have to order it online instead, so we may not. But Bubs needs to go down for his first nap of the day. So I think after we drop off all the milk, we're going to go back home, nap, and then probably have to start baking and preparing. So I think today's vlog, it's Toby's brother's coming over, but I think we're going to spend most of the time baking and decorating. How did it, how'd it go? That was pretty much it. Really? Yeah. That was pretty simple. Yeah, it's, it was, this was a drop off and pretty much it. Oh, so. Cool. Yeah. Easy. We can take the head back if you want to. Or... Yeah, let's head back. So it's been a bit of a hectic baking session. Um, we bake. We, I want to make a three-tiered cake for the cake smash, and then we have um, cake that is the number one, which is going to be the cake that we properly eat, kind of for dinner. Not for dinner, but with dinner. So the issue is that. So the issue is that I've opened up the cakes. And really, it's more bread than cake, to be honest. It's kind of yeah, dense. It's like bread. Yeah, it's like kind of like banana bread. Because there's no sugar in it. It is very um, bread-like recipe, I guess. And um, we cooked it. Took off the top because it rises, and then to realize that the inside is still not cooked, so these are back in. So that's the top, and that's the cake. And um, yeah. Hopefully, it's turned out okay because I'm gonna ice them tomorrow with just some whipped cream. Um, and uh, we want to make sure that these are like thoroughly cooked through so we can actually do that. Okay, so, oh man, it's so blurry. Bubs is asleep and I can't, don't know if you guys can tell, this is like a massive top that we've put down to try and, um, to protect the wall. Yeah, to protect the wall because this is where we're going to do the cake smash. Um, we're going to have balloons strung up all the way down here and then we've got a set of cubes I'll show you guys tomorrow when we set it up, but like it says one then we'll have the cake on one side and then Bubs will be in the middle mm. And it'll be really mm, cute. I, think, I, think cute I know I'm just uh Yeah, we've just never done anything like this before so I'm not quite sure how it will work out But I'm sure it'll be fine and I'm currently working on all the balloons just blowing them. this is the this is one of Bob's play pens but yeah stringing them all along and blowing them up and hopefully I'll, I'll have enough where it creates an archway so I'll show you guys when I put it up but yeah my fingers are starting to get a little sore for like tying up the balloons but luckily I don't know if you can tell we have this little machine down here that um blows uh puts air in the balloons so that makes it a lot easier okay we're done oh my gosh this is what it looks like a lot of balloons a lot of balloons 
um, and a chair to help us. But yeah, we'll put the rest up tomorrow, but oh, this took so long. And our hands are really dry. <laughs> I think it's the powder and the latex. Yeah. Um, so I can kind of see why people pay other people to set this stuff up. Um, Cause it's, it's like really nice, but it also kind of looks very, like it looks like it's not been done by professionals, <laughs> but it's fine. It's for a first year birthday, so it's it's not like you can tell. And the whole kit was like twelve dollars, so mm. it's worth it. It looks pretty good for Yeah, for twelve bucks and a couple hours. It is officially um, Sunday, so it's officially Bub's birthday. Technically, he wasn't born until like eleven thirty nine p.m., like very close to midnight. So he could have easily been born the next day. It's 12.30 midnight, so technically I still need to go shower and go to bed and then officially celebrate with him tomorrow. But, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to like, I wanted to just record my thoughts. It's been really surreal how quickly the year has just disappeared. Um, I just remember when I was pregnant, it felt like time was moving at a snail's pace, so slow. And then... It's like, once I delivered, like I remember that day so vividly, 3, or well, 3.30 a.m., my water broke while I was in bed, and I was like in a panic. I remember waking Toby up and he was shocked, and then we called the hospital, and back and forth. I mean, all of this is in my um, labor and delivery vlog, or not vlog, but like story time, which I published almost a year ago now. So if you want all the details, you can go there. Um, but it's like all those memories are still really strong in my mind. I still remember them all. I see the pictures and the videos that we filmed. Um, and that was a year ago and it's just flown by. Like, I thought a year of maternity leave would feel really long and I can't believe it's over. Like, let me sit up a little bit. I can't believe it's over. Maternity leave is officially over. Um, and I'm back at work, admittedly part-time, so it's not exactly the same, but I mean, I'm back at work. And it's like I'm trying to live this almost normal life. I think it's gonna feel really weird when both Tobias and I are working at the same time. And then it's like, yeah, it's like officially that bubble's over. I'm still breastfeeding, um, but I'm not really breastfeeding from nutrition anymore. Um, <clears throat> because he's just getting so much older my supply has definitely gone down I don't know if that's TMI but I'm more like just breastfeeding to soothe him and I'm gonna keep doing that until he doesn't require it anymore so I think the term is like extended breastfeeding or something where you like will just continue to breastfeed until um, the baby doesn't need it I guess toddler at this point which I never thought I would do I mean I was like so we donated I didn't show you guys, but we like probably 10, maybe like tubs of formula, powder formula, because I told Tobias when I was pregnant, I was like, I am not breastfeeding. Like, I don't want to connect too much with this baby. Like, it's just like, I, I just was like, not, if you knew me during my pregnancy, you would know that I kind of went through the whole thing feeling like I made a big mistake um, with a lot of reluctance. And I just didn't want to sacrifice myself, my life. For my child which just sounds crazy to me now because it's like i would do anything there's almost nobody on this planet i would do anything for but i can wholeheartedly say that i would do anything for him um and so when he was here and i struggled with breastfeeding initially and then eventually it just clicked and i just love like breastfeeding him <laughs> it sounds weird to say it like that but it's like a connection that we have and I know he enjoys it and I'm like gladly like I don't even care anymore about oh I don't want to be saggy I don't want my body to chill I'm like I don't even care like I'm like 40 this year I, I mean at some point everything was going to sag anyway so I mean like just don't care I just care about how he feels and how he's growing and stuff so it's just strange how my priorities have completely shifted and it felt very intensely overnight um so but I know that when that ends, like when I officially stop breastfeeding him, it's like the end of that journey, like that, that 
baby journey, if that makes sense. I feel like if you've been on this journey, you'll know what I mean. It just feels like it's the end. So I feel like that's the last little bit I'm clinging on to. But um, going back to work, everything's just, yeah. But I'm exhausted today. I spent the last three to four hours setting up all those balloons. <laughs> it's exhausting. And Tobias was helping me and we were like putting a top down. Yeah, you saw everything. And then it's also because we were like baking cakes. Because I've got two cakes I've got to make. One for the smash cake, which Violet and Jimmy are going to see with us at lunch and then I've got like another like the the other cake that's for dinner so and then because I don't want to use sugar so we had to use a recipe that turned out almost a bit more like banana bread than cake so it was very dense so we had to like bake it twice and then I had to like cut the bread so that it would shape properly because it rose really weird um yeah so it was just a lot it just feels like a lot um but I know that you know, it's strange because I hear a lot of people say like there's no point celebrating um, The baby's first year because they won't remember it. Um, well, it's not only just for them It's also for me and Tobias and we want to have those memories and photos with him as well So that eventually we can share them with him, but honestly like yeah, it's mostly for us and um, what's wrong with that? I don't think there's anything wrong with it Because um, if you think about it at the end of the day, we all exist because our parents wanted us, not because we wanted to be here. I know it sounds so weird, but every time people say that, I'm like, yeah, but the baby didn't even ask to be born. Like, the parents wanted them for whatever reason. So, like, isn't pretty much everything you do right now for yourself? Um, but this is like a whole chat. This it's a whole thing I can get into because I'm I'm someone who like I personally don't believe in altruism. I feel like everybody does things to benefit themselves. Um, I don't know if that's controversial or not, but that's just always been my belief. Like when you help someone, you do it because it makes you feel good. If you inconvenience yourself for someone to make them feel better, it's because you are like doing it so that you don't feel anxiety or conflict or something. Like there's a reason why you're doing it, even if it might seem detrimental to you. It's almost like the inconvenience or the detriment to you is still less painful than the um, awkwardness or whatever you would feel if you didn't do it. Anyways, it's far too late to get into that conversation. <clears throat> but yes, I'm officially a mother of a toddler, which is so strange. Um, yeah, it's been a journey. It's been such a journey. It has been probably one of the toughest years of my life, but it has been without a doubt the happiest year of my life. Um, I just can't describe the emotion and it's weird because for so long I didn't want children and I guess I changed my mind as I got older but if someone was to ask me and no one should ask me because they should they should think for it themselves but I know I know quite a few people especially younger than me that are on the fence and to them, I would say, <laughs> if you're not sure, just don't do it. Because it's too much of a risk, you know? And sometimes I think, like, I'm so glad it worked out the way it did, but it was such a risk. Like, what if I didn't just change into this, like, maternal person that is, like, obsessed with her child? What if that didn't happen? What if I had my baby and I resented him and like you know like and that would have been the most unfair thing to him in the world so I'm very grateful that I did change but I feel like it would be too much of a risk if somebody was unsure so it's it's like I always feel strange and I know that other parents when they hear me say that they're like how could you say that like your son is here I'm like yeah but like if it had turned out the other way if I felt differently I feel like I would have been the worst person in the world and I don't think anybody's life, especially like a child's life, is worth <clears throat> risking on the off chance that you might click and, and turn out to love your children. So I feel like just have kids if you want them and if you don't, don't have them because I know I would have been happy either way and I know plenty of people are happy. And it's, it's such a weird tangent. I think I think about it a lot because I'm like, I just cannot believe how different I am. Like, I was just so fiercely independent and protective of the life I had. And I just 
like I still like all that stuff, independent travel, fashion, beauty, and just having a lot of autonomy over my life. But I'm also so willing to give it all up. And I know it's not forever anyways, but like this doesn't matter anymore. Just he matters and time with him and watching him grow and nurturing him. And like I read books on like baby psychology, toddler psychology, child psychology, like just making sure that he is looked after, that I do the best possible job I can to raise an independent, emotionally secure, happy, you know, human. If that's the only thing I accomplish at the end of my life, then that is more than enough for me. Like, I don't need anything else. See what I mean? Like, I feel like <clears throat> old Selena would be rolling her eyes at current Selena and be like, oh my god, you're just one of those people who just like <laughs> dedicated your life to your kids. Like, you're more than your kids. They're going to leave you one day. Yeah, he will. And I hope he does because I want him to live a very happy, independent life where he doesn't need me. And I would rather he just wants to be around me, not because he needs to be around me. So, yes, I hope he does eventually leave. I will be very sad and heartbroken. But yeah, um, I don't know. I can't describe it. I'm just different. I mean, it's not like I've given up all the other things in my life. I still have active friendships. I still have hobbies. So it's like my life is still going to be full either way. But oh my gosh, makes me emotional thinking about how much I love him. Because it's just like, I can't describe it. Like, I, th <clears throat> I thought... The way I felt about my cats was how people felt about their children. And now I feel like it's in the same vein, but the intensity is like a hundred times stronger. It's almost like an irrational love um, that I never, I've never experienced before. Like I thought maybe the way I love my parents, it's not the same. It's definitely not the same. Ugh. This is like the most unflattering angle as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go shower, go to bed because it is 12.30. Bob still doesn't sleep for the night. He wakes up multiple times a night, so I should try and get as much sleep as I can before he wakes up. It's the next day, and we have a casualty, a popped balloon. Unfortunately, just from this section here. But you can't really tell. When you step back, it still looks pretty full, so... I mean, worst case, we've still got a few of these small ones that we can just, like, stick in and fill out. But it looks pretty intact. It looks pretty intact. Yeah. So this is my cake. <laughs> and the cubes. And so we are about to try doing cake smash. This is the setup. Okay, I feel completely ridiculous with my hair like this. Um, this is the result of postpartum regrowth and it's kind of at this weird length like when it was about here it didn't look too bad because it just looked like it was had a lot of baby hairs but now it's like just this weird length where it like and is it because i've straightened this part like i was trying to figure out if i could straighten and then stick them down so they'd just be a little more flat but no they're just straightened and they're just sticking out so i have to pretty much and i haven't i haven't straightened my hair that's why it's all like curly at the moment but I will probably do that after I finish wrapping up this vlog. So if I wear my hair down, it's like not so bad. But I don't really like wearing my hair down, um, especially when Bubs is around because he'll tend to pull on it. So I always have my hair up and now I've just gotten really used to having my hair up. It's just more like practical for me. Oh, I cannot believe that there were years of my life where I had hair down to my waist, if not past my waist, and I'd like curl it every morning and... Oh, I kind of like miss those days where I get dressed up every day and go to work. I don't miss going to work part, but I do sometimes miss just like getting dressed up and just like really taking pride in my appearance, which I'm, is really on the back burner right now. But I know that this is just a season of my life and um, things will always change. So I'm, there will be a season where I will probably go back to styling my hair, though I will probably look quite a bit more worn down at that point. Um, so I did not vlog as much as I had hoped. I think I, I do have a lot of footage, but because so much of the footage of the first birthday, um, occurred with Bubs in it, 
or lots of family members and stuff like that and that's stuff that I wouldn't put online so I can't really I feel like I don't have a lot of footage for my actual vlog which I try to keep to just one particular camera so when I look back I'm like oh I don't really have a ton but it was such a good day such a good day it's actually the next day now so it's actually um, I was just too tired the, the night off because we ended up pretty late um, it was so much fun honestly one of my favorite days um, I could get really sappy and long-winded and get into all the nitty-gritty of what happened um, but it wasn't just Bob's birthday just like having Bob and Jimmy come over who are like basically family to us and then um, having my like like blood family members for dinner and it was just such a nice day and I feel so like I felt so grateful it's just like such a, a great moment and I honestly I don't know I just I didn't know that days like this was still in my future which makes me think that there are like sometimes you think oh the best years of my life are over I'm like out, I'm gonna be out of my 30s soon and I'm definitely way out of my 20s and sometimes a lot of people feel like being youthful is the best years of your life and I guess it's all down to perception but definitely I feel like the best years of my life are not over and they just get better and better um, yeah I just like I dream about all the things that could be one day and I just get so excited so um, I didn't think a one-year-old birthday party would make me so emotional so excited so exhausted so everything and yet it was and t I thought it was completely pointless to celebrate and in a way like for him maybe it was because he won't remember any of it but the light that I see and the people and the bonds we've created over it is just amazing so definitely for us worth it don't regret having like I didn't have like a big full like rent a hall or a stadium or whatever that some people have but I've never been that sort of person even our wedding was very low-key so I love that it was just super low-key just at home and just really private and intimate so yeah amazing but I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog this was pretty much just a week in preparation and um, I'm not quite sure what's coming up next I feel like life is gonna get pretty same same I feel like the next major thing coming up is probably Tobias's birthday um, so I might vlog that I'm not quite sure uh, then I'm just trying to think anything exciting come up I don't know honestly I think some of my vlogs are gonna be pretty mundane we are gonna be going on a trip in a couple months so I'm definitely gonna vlog that and I'm really excited and nervous because it's gonna be our first international trip as a family it's it's like kind of a test run but also a big celebration that we're doing so both both um, but yeah I think I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog thank you so much for watching this is Selena reporting for my room back to internet Okay, almost forgot to show you guys the progress before I end this video. This is the coriander. You can see it has grown so much that it's kind of falling over to the side now, which is not great, um, but I need to figure out. And then this is the basil. Doesn't it look amazing? I can't wait for this to get bigger so we can start harvesting it. But yeah, that is our little herb garden so far. <laughs>